You've probably seen the headlines, China launches 10 gigabit internet. And you're thinking, wait a minute, we're still just getting used to 5G. Are we already on to 10G? Did we miss a few generations? Well, hold on because the internet might be fooling you again. Is this really a 10G mobile network like the G and 5G? Let's break it down. Here's the truth, most short videos won't tell you. What China launched isn't the 10th generation mobile network for your phone. They launched 10G fiber broadband. Think of it as a ridiculously fast home internet connection that can reach speeds of nearly 10,000 MBPs. So it's about cables and modems, not mobile towers. This brings up a bigger question. Why does it feel like India is still stuck on 5G while China is talking about 10G? It's because China and India are running two completely different races with two very different finish lines. Let's look at China's advantage. For years, China has been aggressively pushing fiber optic cables into nearly every home, especially in its dense vertical cities. This is a massive undertaking, but they have a few aces up their sleeve. State-backed telecom giants like Huawei and ZTE that dominate the global equipment market, and a government that pours billions into its digital infrastructure as a national priority. Laying fiber in a new skyscraper is just part of the construction plan. It's a top-down, speed-focused approach. Now let's switch to India's reality. India's priority isn't about hitting record speeds for a select few. It's about reach. It's about connecting every single village, every town, every last-mile user. Think about it. India is one of the fastest countries in the world to roll out its 5G network, setting up over 5 lakh 5G towers in record time. The focus has been on mobile connectivity for a billion-plus people, but getting high-speed fiber to every single home? In a country as vast and diverse as India, that's a whole different ball game. It requires immense capital, navigating complex local permits, and time, a lot of time. So why can't India just flip a switch and jump to 10G fiber broadband everywhere? Well, to bring that kind of speed to millions of households, a few things need to happen first. We need a much denser network of fiber lines reaching every neighborhood. We need to cut through the red tape and bureaucracy that can slow down infrastructure projects. We need the equipment to become more affordable for both providers and consumers. And critically, telecom companies need higher revenues to justify such a massive investment. Right now, their money is focused on expanding the 5G network you use on your phone every day. So, to wrap this all up, no, India is not behind. We're just on a different track. China launched 10G broadband for a few, mostly in hyper-developed cities. India, on the other hand, is focused on delivering a reliable 5G mobile experience to the 